started with the Quattro that was invented by Audi and which proved to many, many years in racing how special it was. In 2000, we built the Audi R8. I saw the introduction of TFSI. I saw the introduction of diesel. I was on pole and won the first race in Sebring with a diesel technology. First attempt in Le Mans with the diesel was a victory and many victories followed. People are looking for innovation, they're looking for the next development. The concept to have on one axle the power from a combustion engine and on the other axle electric power. What it means to me, at the moment it means the future. Braking zone where you recuperate energy, you have resistance on the front wheels and it's a good quattro feel. You can rotate the car a little bit easier around the apex and when you then boost and putting the accelerator you get an, an extra power from the front wheels to drive you. I expected to you know, have to really fight and work when the power delivery was coming out, when the e-tron was actually delivering the powers to the front wheels. But in reality it was very smooth, it was very progressive and it just allowed a nice transition coming out the corner but you felt that extra kick of power, there was no question about it. Without doubt in my mind it is the next generation and it's, it's quite exciting to be part of it. Technology used the right way is always going to make the, the edge in, in racing. I find no better a seat to have than being without it. They wouldn't have decided to bring e-tron quattro to one of the world's hardest races, the Le Mans 24 hours, if they did not believe it, it was more efficient and better than what they already had. And what they already had has just about won everything inside.